welcome to my channel or welcome back i'm amanda welcome to my first official vlog i've never truly vlogged before so i am definitely curious to see how this turns out i don't live the most exciting life but i'm going to try to do my best to make it entertaining while staying authentic I have some birthdays coming up and a trip planned, so I will definitely be vlogging that. I'm not sure if I'm going to do weekly vlogs or just one vlog for the month of April, but there will be a vlog. As far as today goes, I am just doing work and chores, so I'm not going to be vlogging anything for the rest of today, but tomorrow I'm going to be working on a birthday cake, so I'm definitely going to vlog that. Now on to said work and chores. I will see you tomorrow. Today I am in the kitchen because I'm going to be making my husband Chris's birthday cake. He has requested a salted caramel cake, so that's what I'm going to be making. Alright, so unfortunately I lost the first part of the cake footage. I had it all edited and ready to go, but I just can't find it anymore. Anyway, here I am stacking the cakes. I'm using salted caramel buttercream, caramel sauce, and crushed pretzels in between each layer. Then I do a crumb coat on the outside and let it chill in the fridge overnight. The next morning I decided to make some chocolate buttercream to put around the bottom so there was some contrast to the salted caramel flavor. This is my favorite chocolate buttercream recipe. It's so tasty and it's really hard not to eat it by the spoonful. I was sort of going for not quite a rustic look but I didn't want it to be perfect. So after I get the chocolate frosting on there I do a caramel sauce drip. After that, I crushed up a Heath bar, and then I coated some pretzels, Ritz crackers, and vanilla wafers with some white and dark chocolate, and then I added some sprinkles. Once I got those all coated, I put the Heath bar crumbles around the frosting seam, and then my camera died, but I went on to add the cookies, crackers, and pretzels around the top and sides. I think it turned out looking more chaotic than I intended, but what can you do? Hello, it is Tuesday. I haven't recorded anything since Saturday. I ended up finishing Chris's cake and uh, it took way too long. The finished product turned out looking pretty cute and he really liked it, so that's great. I would make a few changes if I could go back and do it again, but I am my own worst critic and I pick apart everything. <laughs> so I'm glad he liked it. I'm glad I got it done. Today I have some Etsy orders that I need to work on and I need to do some editing and then I want to get that done because at the end of the week and into next week we are going to be in Cannon Beach and then my daughter turns 16 the day after we get back from Cannon Beach so I want to try to get as much stuff prepped for that as I possibly can before we leave because the day that we get back it's going to be a travel day and then I need to make her cake and I need to decorate so I already know it's gonna be a really late night that night because I like to keep the decorating and the cake a surprise if possible. So I wanna to try to get all her gifts wrapped and do a few elements for the cake that I can do ahead of time. I was going to make a bunch of her decorations myself, but I decided to not do that since we're going out of town. I tend to go overboard with stuff and I often think that I can get things done a lot quicker than I can. So I went ahead and bought a bunch of decorations. I need to make sure I work quick and I don't get too crazy. So, uh, fingers crossed that everything gets done in a timely manner so I can go to bed because I'm already looking forward to it. Okay. Here I am making the candy melt decorations for the birthday cake. I was originally going to make these out of fondant but I ran out of time so this was the next best thing. I'm just using red and green candy melts and then piping out a bunch of different shapes and sizes of berries onto a sill pad. Then before the candy melts begin to harden, I sprinkle them with a little bit of gold decorating sugar. Then I do the leaves and though they're not perfect, they're good enough. I chose to go with a more funky look instead of realistic because doing something more realistic takes me a very long time and as I stated, I didn't have a ton. Here we are on our way to Cannon Beach. It was a rainy day, but it's still such a pretty drive. Hi baby, are you a good boy? 
I didn't get a ton of footage from the trip, but I did manage to get a little bit. The beach is so quiet and serene in the early mornings, and I really love it. My dog Stitch loves digging in the sand, and it's the funniest thing to me. I've never had a dog that likes to dig, and this is the only thing that triggers his digging. On the way into town, we saw a bunch of elk just chilling. Apparently that's their hangout spot because they were there the entire time we were on our trip. We did some shopping and then we came across this cute little mural that lined the alleyway to the antique store and the book and yarn shops that we went into. At the antique store, they had this entire section of jars and it was really hard not to buy a bunch of them because I have a jar addiction, but luckily I was able to restrain myself. All right, we are back from the trip. It was quick but much needed and a lot of fun. It was really relaxing and even though it's the Oregon coast and it was rainy, we still had some nice days and we were able to kind of go down to the beach a little bit. So that was great and I'm already unpacked and everything's put away and now it is time to do birthday stuff so i made a cake before we left but it doesn't really have a strong strawberry taste to it and that's what my daughter wanted so i am going to just go ahead and make her a strawberry box cake because it's easy and i know she likes it so i'm gonna go ahead and do that while that is baking and then cooling down, I'm going to be wrapping some gifts and then depending on how cool the cake is, I will either make the frosting and decorate the cake or I will work on decorations. All right, so here I am hunched over like a turtle wrapping all of her gifts. The lighting is pretty poor, but I thought I would share this anyway since I recorded it. I found this really cute strawberry wrapping paper on Amazon and it fit the strawberry theme perfectly and it was actually really good quality, which I wasn't really expecting if I'm being totally honest. Now I am making this same buttercream that I made for Chris's cake per my daughter's request. Then I am slicing some fresh strawberries to put in between each layer. After I sliced those, I did some buttercream and strawberries in between each layer. And once they were all stacked, I spent a really long time getting the cake frosted. Of course, I did a crumb coat before I did the outer layer of frosting. And then I went ahead and did the placement of the strawberry decorations. I also bought these really cute, good quality royal icing daisies off of Amazon. I would have made these, but I knew I wouldn't have enough time, so I just bought them. They were a little more than I would normally spend, but in the end, I do think it was worth it. I don't know how I feel about the final look of the cake. I definitely had a different vision for it, but this is what I landed on with the time restraints I had. Here is a quick little shot of the decorations I put up. It's nothing super exciting, but I do think it's pretty cute, and I always love to do a balloon cascade when I can. First things first, can we talk about this sunshine and these blue skies? This is a beautiful day in Western Washington, and I am here for it. My birthday is coming up on Tuesday in a few days, and I'm really, really hoping it's a nice day. I keep saying showers possible, cloudy, but now it says that it might actually be 70 degrees. One of the best things that can happen for me on my birthday is having a nice warm day. I just dropped my dog stitch off at the groomer and fewer things break my heart than having to leave him somewhere because he has a lot of PTSD and trauma from being abandoned to a high kill shelter and then being kind of schlepped from family to family to foster home and all this stuff so I feel like when I drop him off, he doesn't think I'm going to come back for him. And he also can't be in a crate that's with the door closed. Like he has his sleeping crate that he loves, but as soon as you close the door and he's in there, he freaks out. Luckily, he's a really good boy and he doesn't need to be crated, but I just feel bad for him because when, when he's in the groomer, he has to stay in a crate. So it's just really sad. 
Uh, while he's at the groomer, I have a bunch of stuff I want to get done. My other dog, Kirby, needs to go to the vet so he can get his vaccines up to date so he can get groomed. Usually I just groom them myself. It takes a long time, but it saves a lot of money and it's just less stress on them. But every few months I like to go get a professional grooming done on them. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to try to record some Something for my Lego video that I'm about to post and then I kind of wanted to look through the vlog footage that I did over my husband's birthday and my Cannon Beach trip and all that stuff but there's a lot and I don't really know what I'm doing so it's all chaotic but I would like to at least do something with that footage and it is gonna be like a couple or a few weeks after the actual stuff happens that the vlog gets posted just because it takes a really long time and I'm still not the best at doing everything so hopefully it'll get a little bit better and closer to the actual time that things happen but it doesn't really it doesn't really matter that much honestly I think I'm gonna make some espresso because I was up really late last night organizing my craft room stuff I didn't really need to do but it was a good way to procrastinate so <sighs> hello it is Mother's Day I haven't vlogged anything in the past couple of weeks so I thought today would be a good day to get on here and finish out the spring vlog originally I was gonna try to do a weekly vlog or a vlog for the month of April but we are basically in mid-May now so I thought that I would just pivot and call it a spring vlog Nothing super exciting has happened in the last couple of weeks. I did have my birthday on April 23rd, but unfortunately it was more of a somber day because my mom, who is critically ill, was in the ICU and the doctor told us that she might not make it through the day. Luckily, she bounced back the day after my birthday and started feeling much better. She is currently still in the hospital, but she is getting stronger and I am so grateful for that. Because it was such a bummer of a day, we didn't really do anything to celebrate. I did get some takeout from my favorite Thai restaurant for dinner, and then I made some banana pudding cupcakes, and I got a couple of unexpected gifts. So that was a nice way to end the day. I thought since I'm here and I didn't record anything from that day, I would share the gifts that I got. The first gift I'll share is from my husband. He got me this really nice tote bag. The first gift I'll share is from my husband. He got me this really nice laptop bag that I had on my Amazon wish list. I wanted this for all of my electronics and recording equipment and uh, camera stuff. I wanted this one in particular because it had really good reviews and it has a ton of pockets, pouches, compartments. I love it so much because I was able to easily organize everything so I'm not just digging through a bag of chaos. The inside is amazing. So it's kind of hard to see. There are a ton of different compartments and pouches so I absolutely love it. This is one of my favorite things that I have now. 1010 would recommend. From my niece I got this really cute little succulent. I love getting live plants as gifts. I'm not always able to keep them alive, but I absolutely love this. It's so cute. Also not pictured because it's been a couple of weeks. My sister got me this huge haul from Trader Joe's of my favorite snacks and of all types of spicy stuff because I love spice and it was really sweet, very thoughtful, and very tasty. <laughs> from my daughter, I got this really, really cute little Amigurumi dinosaur that she made. I absolutely love it. She has recently started doing amigurumi and she is a natural. I have tried it once or twice before, but I gave up and I'm sure if I stuck with it, I could learn how to do it, but she just picked it up right away. I'm super impressed. I thought that this was so thoughtful because she knows how much I love dinosaurs and I just think it is so sweet. I have it on my desk so I can look at it every day and it's so cute. The other thing she got me is this really cool 
salt and pepper shaker. It is of Samantha from Bewitched. Yeah, like you can see her little eyes from the cartoon of the intro. I don't know how many people are familiar with Bewitched anymore, but it is my all-time favorite show. I have seen it hundreds of times. No exaggeration, no joke. I absolutely love it. I have that next to my espresso machine. That was such a cool birthday haul. I was not expecting anything, like I said, so that definitely made my day a little bit better. As I said, today is Mother's Day. We didn't do anything too crazy. We got breakfast at my favorite breakfast restaurant, and then we saw my mom in the hospital. It was really great to see her. She's doing a lot better. I brought her this really cool bouquet of dried flowers that had some um, little fuzzy things. I think they're called like pussy willows. <laughs> and then these really cool little feathers. So that way she doesn't have to worry about watering them. They won't die. and. They they are easily transportable for when she does get out of the hospital. As far as the rest of the day goes, it's going to be pretty relaxing. I am probably just going to watch a scary movie and do a sticker book that I got for myself the other day. I don't see it around here or else I'd show you, but it's this cool vintage flower sticker book where you put each little petal on these flowers. I love doing mindless little crafts like that where you don't have to think about color schemes or placement or like with flowers. I just don't quite know how to arrange them if I draw them. I'm not great at drawing them. I liked it so much that I bought another sticker book and I am probably going to make a full video out of doing that book because I'm really excited about it. As far as gifts go, I didn't really want anything, but instead of flowers, I got this really pretty plant. I wrote down the name of it and I wrote down the care instructions, so it looks like it's going to be pretty easy to keep alive. So that is great. All right, I'm going to end the vlog here. Even though this didn't quite go as I planned, I still enjoyed it, and I hope you did too. If you have any thoughts or comments or suggestions, please leave them below. If you would like to see more videos from me, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I will see you next time.